Welcome to Community America Ballpark here on this. Uh, it's actually, as we record this, it's the opening night of the Olympics. And uh, as we do this, the T-Bones are up big on uh, Grand Prairie, which is a good thing. I'm Matt Folks, Director of Media Relations, along with Olympic gold medals. You might see, you see the gold medal? There's the gold medal. Christy Ambrosi, who was easily one of the best softball players ever from the Kansas City area, um, was a three-time three, three All-State performer in high school, went on to UCLA, won a, a national championship there, and then happened to win a gold medal the next year in Sydney. So, But the cool thing to me, and we were talking about this on the way up, the, the players' reactions before the game when they saw the gold medal, and I mean, they're trying it on. They're, just, they're like little kids. And, and it's cool for me to just watch that, that um, the expression on people's faces and just how wild they are with, with the gold medal. Well, I think the Olympics has the wow factor no matter how old you are. So it doesn't matter if you're the richest person in the whole world or the poorest person or you're in the major leagues or in the minor leagues or you don't play at all. I just think the Olympics, it's the spirit. And so having that spirit around you and just being around it is so special. It's just such a positive energy. And, and a cool thing, and, and you guys, unless you were here at the game tonight, you didn't see this, but a, a really cool thing, after she sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and then dance on the dugout, and we're going to talk about that in a second, not on camera, but we're going to talk off, but the, a, a really cool thing, the fans coming up, and, and people, again, it's just like the players, everybody's just wild to see it, and she is just incredibly gracious with it, so that's, uh, if you ever get a chance to meet Christy out in public when she's going to have the gold medal, uh, you need to do it, because it's, uh, it's quite a cool thing. So as I mentioned, tonight's opening ceremony in, uh, in London, as you think back to 2000 and, and Sydney and just that whole experience for you, and namely for now the opening ceremony, yeah. what stands out? What do you remember about that? Well, I have quite a few stories. Um, we almost missed it <laughs> because we had, um, in the village, we had, you know, it was, they had built a neighborhood and people had bought the houses and the condos ahead of time, but they weren't allowed to move in until we were done. So the U.S. was all in one section of the village. And when we were going to opening ceremonies, you know, we had our outfits on and we're all out there waiting. So Leo, Brian Amico, who was on the softball team with me, she and I were like, this is the only time we're ever going to have to get our picture taken with these famous athletes. So we we were on the hunt to get our picture taken with every single Olympian we could. And so we did, but then we missed our bus to get to the, to the, you know, opening ceremony. So we had to hop on the women's soccer bus. So we finally get there and we're like, whew. And then we get into this, they call it the holding tank. So next to the um, opening ceremonies, they have another arena that just holds the athletes because while they're waiting to walk out, they got to be somewhere. So we would watch the um, opening ceremonies up on the, you know, the jumbotron up in the middle of the arena. And then when it was time for us to walk out, I have pictures where it's just thousands of US Olympians just we're all have our cameras and video cameras up oh, wow. walking down this tunnel and then when you walk into the opening ceremony it's just like now I know what Britney Spears feels like I mean it's just like <laughs> lights everywhere and you're just like wow and and so it, it was just a dream I mean it's exactly what you would dream it would be well do you get chills talking about it now I mean just oh, what yeah. yeah and I don't really talk about it much right. you know just because I have my own life and I have two kids and you just kind of forget you're an Olympian until the Olympics come around and then you're like oh my gosh yeah I was you know such a big part of that and it gets you all excited again well at least I have to ask about the games because you guys it was a great run and I think it was Japan in the gold medal game if yes. I remember yeah we struggled actually we lost three games in um, bracket play or in pool play and almost didn't make it to bracket play and so when we did we had to win and and it was just we somehow, some way, we pulled together, and we had a big age difference between our team. Our youngest was 21, our oldest was like 41. So it was, you know, when you have a big age gap like that, it's hard to relate to each other, but when it all came down to it, we were able to pull together and, and play ball and, and win, so it was fun. Okay, so uh, again, kind of a cool thing for me is we were on the field for the singing of the national anthem tonight, and I'm thinking, I'm standing next to a, a gold medalist, what do you remember about just the the gold medal ceremony and being on the podium and and hearing the national anthem in Australia getting your gold medal? Well, it immediately has a flashback to when I was young in the 1984 Olympics when Mary Lou Retton got her gold medal for the all around 
And at the time, I was a gymnast. I was a gymnast for 10 years. You wouldn't be able to know it now, but I was. And there was no softball in the Olympics, so that was what I was going to go. In my mind, I'm going to go to the Olympics, and I'm going to be a gymnast just like her, and I'm going to get a medal just like her. And so when I got up on the podium, that's what I was thinking about. Like, I'm doing exactly what... I said I was going to do when I was itty bitty and here I'm doing the same thing Mary Lee Rutten did even though it's a different sport it's this the best of the best of your sport I mean every country sends the very best to compete and to be able to be the best of that is really surreal I mean you just can't even really it's hard to think about because when you're in it you're like wait a minute you know from the outside it's different but when you're in it you're like is this really happening <laughs> Exactly. now I've, I've had a chance to talk with several gold medalists and and one of the the most amazing to me was was Phil Mayer, a skier, back in the 80s. Talk about 84. He was in the Winter Olympics in 80 and 84. Um, he talks about hearing the national anthem. He says, "You know what?" And he got choked up as he's telling me this story. He said, "I don't listen to the national anthem the same anymore." I don't either because to be able to represent your country, I mean, you're just that's the biggest honor you could ever have. I mean, unless you're a soldier there's no other way you can represent your country and so to be able to do that in a peaceful environment and then to come back and, and be you know proud to be able to represent this country because you I've traveled a lot just growing up and 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 my childhood my father's from Italy and so we we did a lot of traveling and and then with softball we we traveled a lot and went to a lot of different places in the world and you see that you know, it may seem like things are bad right now, but it's not bad compared to some of the places that are out there right now. And so you really feel fortunate of, uh, about being American. You get more pride about being an American when you see what else is out there. Now, will you watch much of the Olympics? Are you a huge Olympics fan that you can't miss it? Yeah, yeah. I need to get, um, what is it, DVR? I don't even have that. I, and uh, So I need to get it. Cause, um, but I have friends that are taping it right now, so I'll be able to see it. But, yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm such an Olympic fan, and especially now that I am an Olympian. And, yeah. and you know, it was funny because Oprah had this show the other day on Olympians. She had interviewed some of the, the most memorable Olympians, and I was just, you know, yeah. just the whole time I was watching, I was like, and then I'm thinking, wow, like, I'm an Olympian too. <laughs> but I didn't feel like I fit into that company. But I, it's just funny, you know, you just, all the hard work. And what this medal really means to me, it's the journey. It's not the 10 games we played. It's the journey from the time I started playing, all the people that helped me get to where I was, all the players that I played with. I mean, it was the entire journey. And so that's what's so special about this. It's not just Sydney. It's, it's the entire journey. Well, it's cool. And Brian Bruce told you this when he had you on the radio that he was cheering you on and, and thinking, you know, here's somebody from Kansas City doing this. And I know there were millions of Kansas Cityans doing that same thing that, you know, here's a Kansas City, one of our own, winning a gold medal. Yeah, I mean, it's I love Kansas City. I mean, I went away to college. I went to California, but I came back because there's not. It's just home. I mean, it's just a great place to live. I have two kids. I love Kansas City. I want to raise them here, and and it just is a great place to to grow up and and to raise your kids in. So, well, again, thank you so much for coming out here tonight, especially on opening ceremony night, especially when you don't have DVR. <laughs> Out here on the opening ceremonies, <laughs> and this has been, again, just a cool experience for, I think, our fans. I know the T-Bones players. Kenny Hook was getting, just another real quick story. We posted this picture on Facebook of Kenny with the, the medal on, but Kenny came out a little bit late. He, he had to go to the umpires meeting real quick before the game, and he saw the medal. He's like, oh, shoot, i got to go do this meeting. I'll be right back. And he wanted to rush through that meeting. And get back to see the medal. And then, again, he was like a little kid seeing it. So yeah. thank you so much for coming oh, yeah, out no and problem. for bringing the medal and for bringing Sydney to, to sing. Sydney! Sydney Spears. You need to remember this name. This girl is going to be a superstar. The girl can sing like no other, I'm telling you. She's going to sing the uh, national anthem here, when I think, in August. We're going to plan it. So. There you go. <laughs> she is Christy Ambrose, an Olympic gold medalist. That's all you need to know. I'm Matt Folks. Thanks for watching. Thanks.